Alabama, is set to execute a cancer-stricken inmate, despite his plea to spare him potentially unnecessary pain. Doyle Leham, 61, argues his veins are too damaged from cancer and past drug use, and the lethal injection would be unconstitutionally painful. He was convicted of fatally shooting motel clerk Patrick Cunningham in 1987, in a robbery where $410 was taken. Ham is one of three U.S. death row inmates due to be executed on Thursday. The other two are in Texas and Florida. If all the executions occur as planned, it would be the first time three prisoners have been killed on the same day since 2010, according to the Death Penalty Information Center. In the case of Ham, Alabama argues he has been in remission from cancer since 2016, according to Alabama Public Radio. A judge denied the inmate's appeal and said the state would not use any veins in his arms and hands in the execution. Ham was diagnosed with B-cell lymphoma in 2014. His lawyer has argued that cancer, hepatitis C and previous drug use, compromised his veins, and could result in a botched execution.